So, with the i930, you actually have to cl click diesel. So, if I read my ABS faults, two brake switch failures and pressure switch failure. Okay, let's clear them. Having ascertained via trying two different switches, it has to be something to do with this wiring. So I'm just tracing from purple and just starting the trace of that right there. Green and purple goes off that way. And it's the fourth pin on that connector there. And I did a continuity test and it is not good. I don't know if this was factory, but it had that crappy tape. It's not electrical tape around it and then it had this factory looking yellow so two green purple wires go down here join starts to go to the back of the BECM one of them goes to I think it's right in the middle there and the other one goes to the ABS module so I took the tape off this and I cleaned it with electrical contact spray I also cleaned the inside of this connector that brown one and that white one behind there. There is a few other areas on these looms where you get little clumps of, of wire um, joined together. I did the same here, there's a white one here. And I think it's under here. Oh no, it's, uh, this orange and white one was a bit crusty looking here. That purple green is one of the, the ones that came off that loom. I cleaned the connection of that. I took out the instrument cluster connections and sprayed them out. I took every connector off the BECM, I sprayed every one of those out, all of those ones. There's the ABS computer. Pulled all those three out, sprayed them out. There's two white connectors here, took the, both of those apart, sprayed them out. The back four on that one and a couple on this one were very green, oxidised looking. Other things I sprayed out with that. I unscrewed the, these two screws and took this aside, pulled the computer out of here. Five connectors in there, I unplugged them. There was some corrosion on one of those. Take the pressure switch connector off, clean that out. This is new, no problems. I tested every one of them. There's two faulty ones waiting on two new ones. Every one of the connectors underneath this, I sprayed them out. I untwisted this connector, which is right under the coolant bottle, sprayed that out change this, pumps hold. Once I did all that, plugged them back in, I turned on the car and I drove for about 10-20 seconds with no ABS fault, but then it came on. I parked the car and let it sit for 24 hours, I came back and then no fault. I've now been running the car for about 10 hours and trying all kinds of things, and ABS fault is completely gone. I'm trying my hardest. You get the three amigos down here, as people call them, the three amigos. Looks like the problem's gone.